Hello there, this is 8th Thunder Nate. Today we're playing Dread 1.33. So, this update, it's a pretty big update, and pretty exciting too. So, anyway, we have new sites. There are technically two new sites, but then uh, one that's like on a lot again. So, anyway, to get a site, you just press tab, select your gun that you want it. I have a Scar H. And then you go in here, click this, and then it will give you an option to like buy it. Sort of like, um, pretty much the same as actually, yeah, it is the same as the skins. And right now we have the AWP scope on the Scar H. Which is pretty cool. There are quite a few guns that got like the sights. I'll show you them all. AK-47 has the EOTech, and if you look closely, it is a little bit off-centered. It looks like, or the crosshairs, which you know is not ideal. But anyway, oh, since the AK-47 has quite a bit of recoil does like kind of punch you in the face a little bit but you know it's don't like that it punches you in the face think that it should there should be less visual recoil said so it just you know it doesn't do that or it'll I don't know the recoil will go up just like bounce around a bit more and then not punch you in the face, but it's pretty good. The the AWP got the EOTech 512. And if you look at you can sort of see the barrel and it the barrel looks crooked, but then the bullets do seem to go the bullets do go to the middle of the site. Where you think they're going, but then yeah, it just doesn't looks just looks kinda weird the barrel like off to the side a little bit. I do like having the EOTech on the sniper though. It does work pretty well. The M4 carving got the sight and it's the front sight on the the front like iron sight on the gun it's still there and it is kind of big but it, it does show that it, the sight is perfectly centered so you know Look at that, that's nice. The RPK has the EOTech, it's it is a bit crooked, or it isn't like completely straight as you can see, but you know it's a bit to the left. But anyway, the recoil looks really good on this gun, so Scar L. This gun also has EOTech 512. The recoil still punches you in the face, but it's. I don't think it's as. Yeah, it's not as bad as the AK 47. It looks pretty nice. Yeah. Scar H has the EOTech. And it does look really nice on this gun. The color scheme really matches it. The Scar L and Scar H, the iron sight or the hollow sight replaces the iron sight, which is pretty good. It doesn't do that on the RPK or the AK-47, but then it probably should on those guns. If it did on those guns, it would hide the fact that it's off-centered a little bit. But on the M4, the iron sight just kind of just kind of blocked the hollow sight a little bit. Not too much, but does a little bit. And of course, Scar H also has the AWP scope on it, which I forget what it's labeled as. It's PM11. Alright. Or PM2. That looks like Roman numerals, so I'm gonna go with PM2. There are 
are three new skins in this update too. So it's the classic skin for the 357 Magnum, which I'm gonna be honest, like look at that. I really like the skin. And then of course there's also Blooming Magma for the 357 Magna, which looks really cool in the preview. <laughs> Might buy that one actually, but we'll see. And also there is a Blooming Magma skin for the AK-47. Mm -hmm. Looks pretty good here. Anyway, the sights, they're pretty expensive, but like um, all the sights, as far as I know, they all cost the same amount of money. Four and a quarter thousand dread dollars for the EOTech 512 Hollow, ten thousand dollars for the PM11, unless you buy the AWP and then you get it for free with it, which is pretty cool. If you are just like playing through the game and you just wanted like, you know, level up and stuff as fast as possible, I wouldn't really recommend any of the attachments unless, but, you know, if you want to get them, they're there. And I'm pretty excited to see like the new, more attachments coming because these sites, they're pretty cool. Wouldn't, I don't know, I wouldn't say they're really worth the price. They're pretty expensive, but, you know, they're pretty good. Yeah. The only I would recommend buying it on the sniper if you if you really want to do that. It'd probably be lower magnification sights are usually better for like closer range. If you want to use the sniper at close range, which I don't know, you do you. And also the RPK is another one of my favorites just because the RPK has like I don't know, it doesn't really necessarily have like less recoil than the other assault rifles, but it definitely has less visual recoil and it might just be a bigger gun too. But then it doesn't punch you in the face as much as the other ones. But that also might be changed in the future. The new skins are cool and I do like the look of this new revolver skin. I'm going to see if it works in easy. It does not. So anyway, that pretty much wraps it up. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.